Hey guys, what is up? It is Cam. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Okay, so in today's video, we are going to be trying on Pinterest-inspired summer outfits. I've been wanting to film this video for a very long time. I'm starting to get into fashion. I'm starting to figure out what my signature style is, and I'm also learning how to incorporate more pieces into my wardrobe. Now that I've kind of found a signature, I want to explore some other things and even just learn how to jazz up what I already have as a signature style. All of that being said, I went on Pinterest. I had my friend also go on Pinterest and choose some outfits for me to recreate. I also chose some outfits to recreate. If you guys want to see another one of these videos, let me know and I will make another one because there are definitely a whole bunch of outfits that I'm not going to get to try in this video. I love picking out clothes and figuring out what to wear. So this is really fun for me. Very excited to do this video. But before we get into everything, if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Also turn on the notification bell so you never miss another one of my uploads. And for more content like this, for more fashion content, definitely subscribe because I definitely want to do more. If you want to subscribe to my commentary channel, you can do that as well. And if you want to keep up with me outside of YouTube, you can follow me on all my social media. I'll make sure to have everything on the screen and link down below. And yeah, that's all. Without further ado, let's get into it. The first outfit is actually a little bit more of like a grungy sort of streetwear outfit. I think I wear stuff like this most often. It is definitely in my comfort zone. Sans a little bit of the accessorizing, but I think I could work something out. I have these oversized jeans right here. I found them at the thrift store last summer. Super baggy. They're light wash and they're actually Tommy Hilfiger. I was at the bins at Goodwill and that's how I found these. The reason why I picked them specifically is because they have this red, white, and blue from the Tommy Hilfiger and I want to go ahead and try to use that as a through line for the rest of the outfit because I don't have the specific color scheme that she was wearing in that picture but I think I can come up with another color scheme that is just as nice or just as cute. I'm also going to pair it with this navy blue super cute cropped t-shirt and this is actually not even a crop top. I found it at the thrift store in the little boy section but the reason why I liked it is because it's definitely navy blue so it has that navy blue through line from the pants but it also has the red white and blue from the American flag and then it has this silver detail which is going to be very important when it comes to the accessories. Okay, so I have the top and the pants on but I want to talk about accessories really really quickly because I feel like those were pretty important to her outfit. I definitely want to try and get them as close as I can. So for shoes, she's definitely wearing some like closed toe pointed heels that are black and I have these closed toe pointed flats. They're not heels but they're black and so these would match the reference image like perfectly but I was thinking that because I changed the color palette a little bit, maybe I should go with these white, oh geez, maybe I should go with these white strappy sandals that I have and that would kind of tie in with the white a little bit better so I think I'm gonna do these and see how it looks and then for jewelry since she has on that chunky silver necklace I do not have a chunky silver necklace like that I think it's a Cuban link I don't got one of them so I'm gonna keep on this silver necklace that I have on and honestly I think my outfit could stand without the necklace but I am going to put on some bracelets I'm gonna end up going with this skinny bracelet and then this chunky bracelet it looks kind of like that watch that she has on and then for bag and sunglasses glasses I'm gonna go with my silver Telfar and I just stuffed the straps inside the bag and then these silver racer glasses that I think are going to complement my silver accents very very well oh yeah this is hot this is hot I should dress like this uh -huh. purr don't play oh wow I was literally recording that whole time this is the final result this is the full body I think this looks really 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 stinking good even down to the glasses like look yeah yeah. The glasses with the silver toe far. Yeah. And I think even down with the shoes, I definitely did cuff the pants because her pants were a little bit cuffed in the video, but this is what it's giving. I definitely like this a whole lot and I feel like I should dress like this more often. I had to tie the back just to get it to fit a little bit more snatched, but I think it worked out and I think this looks really good. What do you think? Okay. That definitely ate. I look ridiculous in these glasses. That is crazy. Mm-hmm. This one is a little bit more outside of my comfort zone. Not really, but kind of. I don't think I've done a full-on monochromatic outfit look, and maybe I'm lying. I don't think I have fully committed to a monochromatic outfit. And this one is definitely monochromatic. It gives very, very earthy vibes. She has her head wrapped up in this picture, and I'm definitely not about to wrap my head up because who's about to get all of this hair inside of a head wrap? It's not me. To take care of the head wrap situation, I'm not going to put my hair up, but I am going to attempt to style the head wrap. I 
I have this tan one. And by the way, I don't have a green monochromatic look like that, so I'm going to switch it out for tan. That's why I have this tan head wrap right here. And then I have my tops, this tan oversized men's button down. This is like one of my favorite tops to wear. And then underneath of it, I have this long sleeve tan, like tight fitted shirt. I know I said this is a summer video, but the short sleeve version that I have of this is a slightly different color that doesn't match the tan as well. So I chose the long sleeve one instead, but definitely if you're trying to recreate this, I would go for the short sleeve. For the sake of this video, I'm doing the long sleeve because I think the color is a little bit better. These are going to be my pants. They're not too baggy how hers were in that picture. They're straight leg. They have just the right amount of oversizedness to them in order to give me that look. I decided to pull my hair back into a low ponytail and then do my head wrap situation like this. I feel like it complements very, very nicely, very, very well. So now let's talk accessories. I'm pretty sure she has on gold jewelry. So I'm going to wear a gold necklace. Because she has on those foam runners, I think I'm going to go for these white Crocs. I know they're not tan, but I think these are going to work out pretty well. I think they're going to look pretty cute. And then as far as sunglasses, I know that she's wearing black sunglasses in that picture, but I think I'm going to commit to the monochromatic look. I'm going to commit to the tan, and I'm going to pull out these tan and brown sunglasses that I have, and I think these are going to look super sick. I'm so excited to see the final look. I don't know, but I feel like this one is a win. It's really hot up here, guys. I definitely do not recommend a long sleeve shirt in the summer. That is ludicrous, if I must say so myself. It's really hot in my room right now. Alright, let's go to the next outfit. Okay, I hope you guys don't mind the slight switch up. I decided to switch to the foam because I was not about to sit up in here and take my camera off the tripod every single time. That was just a bit much for me. This is the final look. I think this is giving either Earth Girl vibes or play, 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 play. I haven't decided which one it is. But this is cute. I have on this Van Cleef dupe necklace that I got. It's a gold one and I just have it flipped on the white side. Obviously, I have on my brown shades, my tan head wrap. Very cute. Tan everything. This is a vibe. The one thing that I don't like as much about this outfit, the shoes and the pants. I feel like the pants aren't the same colors and it just kind of throws it off. And I also forgot the bag. Let me get the bag for this outfit. Let me stop playing with y'all and get the bag for this outfit. Here we have my brown Telfizi that sets it off. I think this is super duper cute. I think if I would have had some true tone khakis, that would have really been really good. And then if I had some tan Crocs, that would have been really good. But since I don't, we're going to work with what we have. And I feel like I did a pretty good freaking job recreating, especially because I didn't put my hair up. I feel like the low ponytail worked out pretty well. And these shades in the brown instead of doing the black, I think that really killed it. And then the Telfar, I don't know. I feel like I did a pretty good job. What do you guys think? This is cute. You know what pants would have gone great with this? I'm going to go get them because I have another pair of pants that are better than these. Hold on. You guys, I forgot I bought these pants and they're like brand new and they're tan. I'm going to change. Hold on. Guys, I cracked the code. These are better. They're better. They're a little wrinkled, so mind your business, but they're better. I'm going to show you guys one second. I honestly cannot believe I did not think about this sooner, but these pants are brand new, and that's probably why I didn't consider them at first, but this is so much better, and I feel like it matches her kind of pants a little bit better than the other ones that I had on as far as like style of pants, texture of pants, bagginess of pants, and the way it folds over the shoes. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? This is amazing. Wow, this looks so cute. Dude, where am I wearing this to? Should I take Instagram pictures in this? This is incredible. I'm so shocked. This is so cute. Uh, look. Uh, stop. Wow. I'm kind of shook. Like, this is actually kind of crazy. This is so much better than what I had on before. Like, so much better. So much better. I got the updated pictures and they look so much better. Wow. I'm going to change now. For real this time. Next outfit. This one is very cute. It's a little bit out of my comfort zone because I normally don't show that much skin and not because of modesty or anything like that, but just because I'm a little chubby. I don't really like my chubs to be out that much for real. So I don't be showing that much. I don't be showing that much stomach. She looks real cute in this video or in this picture. I can't tell what kind of jewelry she's wearing, but it looks like she's wearing gold bracelets. So I'm gonna hop on that. I have a couple of things picked out for this one. Two different options. Light green oversized jacket. She has on a green one. I don't have that shade of green, but I do have this light green and I thought the light green would be very cute. I feel like with that color jeans, like it was too light of a wash to do that light of a green on top. So I also chose this one. I bought this for my boyfriend. As soon as I realized that that other light green may not work, I instantly thought of this and I think this might pull it off. It's not green and this is the second time, but listen, I don't have that much green in my wardrobe, okay? I'm sorry. Um, so I'm gonna do this brown one. <laughs> I'm gonna do this brown one. And then I have this black bralette that I think is going to be perfect. And then I have these pants. They're high-waisted, so that might help with my tummy a little bit. They have a slight rip in the knee and they're technically carpenter pants and they're super baggy. So I'm thinking that this outfit is going to work out pretty well. So I got it on. Don't look. 
For accessories, I'm going to keep on my gold Van Cleef dupe, but I changed it to the black side instead of being on the white side. I'm going to put on a gold bracelet as well. And then for shoes, I'm going to wear these tan platforms because I don't have black. Don't ask me why I don't have black. I just don't have black. And I'm not going to wear a hat because a hat is going to ruin my hair. And oh yeah, for bag, I have this Welcome to Las Vegas white bag to match the white bag that she has in the picture. And I think this one is perfect. So that's what I'm going to do. Here we go. This is the fit. I don't know if I like the bag with it. I guess the bag would make more sense if I was wearing the white hat, but I'm not wearing a white hat. So this bag doesn't make that much sense. And maybe I could swap this out for a black canvas bag. That might look better, but I'm not about to do that right now. I think this part worked out with it being high waisted and I am covered up a lot by this, which is nice. I feel like I need a bralette that has a little bit more coverage because I feel like just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit just a little bit uncomfortable just a little bit but my stomach doesn't look too terrible in this so i feel like i could get away with it i don't like the shoes with this but we already talked about that so we understand the circumstance i think it's good i think this is cute what do we think Moving on to the next outfit, which is very simple but cute outfit. And I think I'm going to just do something simple and cute for it. This is what I have picked out. It literally is just a cut up white wife beater and some Wrangler jeans that I also went ahead and cut because I wasn't wearing them and I didn't like the way they fit because I realized I really don't like straight leg and these are straight leg. And so I just cut them and now they're shorts. So at first I didn't know what shoes to wear, but then I looked at my second reference photo for that outfit and she was wearing white shoes. So I'm going to go in with my white Air Force Ones. And then I wasn't sure what jewelry to wear, but in the other reference photo as well, I saw she was wearing silver jewelry, but the bag that I have has gold hardware. So I'm thinking maybe I put on gold jewelry instead. I'm not gonna wear a necklace because neither reference photo had a necklace. I am gonna put on glasses. I'm gonna go in with this gold watch style bracelet. I'm gonna go with this black bag and these black sunglasses and that is the outfit complete? This is the outfit. And at first, I hated it. Before I accessorized, I freaking hated this. I thought it was so freaking ugly. I was looking like a busted can of biscuits and I was not enjoying myself, like at all. I was not enjoying myself at all. But after I accessorized it, I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. I wish this bag would have had silver hardware so I could have done silver jewelry because I feel like since my forces have silver jewelry, then I should be wearing, or silver hardware, then I should be wearing silver jewelry because you know fashion, but I will let it slide for this video. I also think my pants don't fit as well as I want them to. I want them to be a little bit more baggy like Bermuda shorts. And also I feel like they need to be like three, four inches shorter and then they will really be setting this outfit off. But I think for what I have, I was able to pull off the look. I feel like my figure, figure don't come with the outfit but that's okay, we love to see it. <laughs> And I think this turned out cute because I definitely thought this was a flop before I accessorized. But once I put the accessories on, I think it turned out well. So, period. Oh my gosh, my skin looks really good. Yeah, this is cute. So the next outfit is a really like cutesy little outfit. I think this is gonna be a cute one to do actually. I think I have the perfect pieces for it. I don't have a cargo skirt like this, but I do have these cargo shorts that I think will be super cute and work very, very well. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Here is the rack. And I also don't have same color shorts or same color shirt. So I picked a pair that I think are going to work well together. I have this Skims dupe shirt and then cargo shorts in cash. I think these are gonna be cute. These are a tad bit too small, so we're gonna see. But last time I tried these on, I was really looking like a bus cannabis. Dude. So I don't know how this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. All right, so I got the outfit on, and I need to go back and check and see if she has on any accessories. I don't think she does. It looks she might have on a silver bracelet, and she has white shoes, so I'm gonna put my forces back on. I'm also going to get this chunky silver bracelet again, and then it looks like she has like a fanny pack bag on her, but I ain't got one of them. So I'm gonna use the thick strap on this pull it around my shoulder like she has hers and tighten it up and this is gonna be the look i think this one is kind of a fail i don't really like it but that's also because my pants are entirely too small like struggling to breathe too small i need to get rid of a pair of ribs too small yeah i'm not gonna be able to, i can't get in these shorts i would have to have like two less ribs and that just doesn't give but i'm gonna show you guys the final look anyway because it's cute i just don't think it's cute on me right now i feel like dorothy explorer right now i don't know why but that's what it's giving it's giving i'm a, a safari adventurous and i'm about to go on an adventure on a quest grumpy old troll 
yeah i don't like this one it's cute i just don't think the pieces i think it might have been cuter if i would have been able to match the color scheme that she had because i don't think this one is working this is giving like elementary school teacher close to the summer right before school let out that's what this is giving i don't know i don't know i don't know this is like a four out of ten it could have worked though it could have worked but it doesn't work and moving right along this one's a dress i've done pants this whole time so far so this dress is going to be a super cute one change of pace i think it's gonna be cute here is what i picked out i have two options for the outside coat because i wanted to use a pop of color like the one that she had on but i didn't know if i wanted to go with this solid pink pop of color or if i wanted to go with this sort of like rainbow pop of color this has a pattern to it this one is more solid i don't know which one i'm gonna choose but i also have this black dress now i'm pretty sure the one she's wearing is probably spaghetti strap but i don't have a spaghetti strap in black so i have this long sleeve one in black and i'm gonna do a long sleeve again similar situation to that other outfit that i tried on that's what i'm gonna do for this just so i'm able to get like the floor length black dress because i thought that was really important and really nice i think we're gonna do the pink one okay so i'm finally dressed i got the tie down now i need to pick some accessories she is wearing a gold nameplate necklace in the picture i don't have a nameplate necklace so it's giving i'm putting on that van cleef dupe again on the black side and then i think for shoes i'm gonna just be basic and go with my panda dunks because i don't have any other shoes and she's wearing tennis shoes in hers and then for a bag i have just regular canvas tote bag like how she has i think this is cute it is very modest which i'm always a fan of a little bit of modesty i think the black dress goes really good with like accentuating your figure but also making you look like a skinny legend like it's giving bbl no surgery period don't play i don't know if i'm filling the canvas bag with this because i feel like since it's off-white it doesn't really go with my shoes but i don't know she had a canvas bag and it was working for her so i don't know i feel like it should work for me but this is cute the pink is cute the panda dunk is cute i feel like this is giving this is a win this is very like chill cozy summer day especially if you have the spaghetti strap instead of the long sleeves i think this would really do it so i like this i think this is a success Our next outfit is actually a very nice, chill, cozy outfit. I'm actually very excited to do this one because I feel like this is something I would wear and it's definitely summer. It's very chill, very cozy, but very cute. So let's get into it. It's giving graphic oversized tee, red bandana, black biker shorts, white long socks, and high top Nikes. I can do that. I can do that. And then I have this other photo that I'm also cross-referencing. She has on gray biker shorts and I think I'm going to go for the gray biker shorts because I think they're super duper cute. So this is what I picked out for styling of course we have the red bandana the white socks the gray biker shorts and the black oversized graphic tee so i have the whole get up on let's talk about accessories she has on a whole bunch of necklaces in that picture i don't have a bunch of necklaces so i put on the two that i got per her thing one thing two don't play and i'm going to put on these nikes that i have they have a whole bunch of different colors in them including this red which is why i went with the red bandana but also my graphic tee has a whole bunch of colors in it as well so i'm gonna put these ones on and then she also had on black sunglasses in that picture as well so i'm gonna put these black sunglasses on her oh yeah that's cute i don't normally go for a bandana but i feel like this eats all right so this is the final look and i absolutely love it but i also dress like this on a regular basis the only thing i normally wouldn't do probably is this bandana but the bandana is cute yeah i think it's cute this is what it's giving what do we think i think it's cute i think it eats the girls with the shoes especially yeah don't play this is stunning it's giving very much streetwear i don't know if it gives y2k but it gives something decided to do a close-up for you guys how do we look yup eat them up this one is really cool. I've actually worn something exactly like this before. So I'm excited to do this one, actually. And Taylor sent me this. So I'm like, you know exactly what I like. Yeah, let's go ahead and get into styling this. This one's gonna be fun. So obviously she has on the cargo pants, but they're camo cargo pants. And then she looks like she has on a black bodysuit and white shoes and a black hat. I already told y'all I'm not doing hats in this video because my hair is a little too good looking. So this is what I picked out. I actually picked out a brown bodysuit as well, but I'm not going to do that. I'm definitely going to do the black one. And then of course I have my camo cargos. These are baggy. So that's going to be super cute. Hat or no hat? This hat looks crazy. So accessories. She is wearing two silver bracelets. And like I said, she's wearing tan shoes. I tried the hat. The hat was a definite no. I'm going to put on two silver bracelets and some tan shoes. 
shoes. I'm excited. I'm definitely happy with how this looks. I'm looking super snatched. It's giving Kim possible and I'm here for it. I forgot to show my tan shoes, but this is what they look like. I already put one of them on, so I'm gonna show you this one. Like I said, it's definitely giving Kim possible vibes, but I like it and I've worn an outfit just like this before. Only difference is I had on a brown bodysuit instead of a black one, but I think this is very cute and very simple, very subtle, especially with just the two simple gold bracelets. I think the hat would set it off, but if I had not big hair, then maybe I could see it working. But I really like this. I love these pants too. These are like one of my favorite pairs of pants because they really do a great job of snatching my waist. I like the tan shoes. Is that a stain? That is a stain. Yeah, I don't know about that one. But I like these tan shoes. I think they fit perfectly with these camo colored pants, especially the light tan color in them. And then the accent of the black. Very cute, very cute. Love to see it. Looks super snatched. Like I said, Kim Possible vibes all the way. This is breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This is another one of those. <laughs> I need to stop. Let's get into the final outfit. Okay, so this one is also another one that I feel like I have done for, or at least something similar to it. It's very comfy, very cozy, very cool. And she's wearing an oversized white t-shirt, brown cargo pants, white shoes, black purse, and a brown and cream bandana. I think I could do that. So this is what I pulled for that outfit. I have this white shirt. I'm not gonna take it off the hanger, but sorry. I have this white shirt, oversized shirt, these brown cargos they're baggy very very cute and then i have this cream and browned browned really brown bandana all right close her on now i gotta get into this bandana so i got the base of the outfit on i don't really like it but i'm gonna keep going let's talk accessories she has on white shoes again i'm gonna go for my white forces and then she also has on a black bag so i'm gonna put this one on again because it's the same size as the one that she was wearing yeah that's cute and then it looks like she had on a little silver bracelet so i'm gonna put on this one you can barely even see it but this one oh yeah it was a dainty little bracelet so i think this one is perfect definitely gets the job done and this is another one that I didn't really like when I first put it on but it's kind of grown on me a little bit as I wear it and as I look at myself in the mirror with the accessories okay this is what we're looking like for the final reveal for this outfit how do we feel how do we feel I think it's okay if I didn't have to wear this shirt I feel like I would feel better about it like if I had a white oversized graphic tee with more than just UNCSA, you know, but also if it had a little bit of hint of brown in it I think I would feel better about it because right now I just feel like it looks a little tacky even though it kind of does work out because I have this black bag the bandana is so so i feel like if my hair was a little bit flatter it might look a little bit better but eh, i can get used to it i don't know i feel like my pants like the brown is a little too cool but i like it i could work it i think it's cute it ended up being cuter than i thought and same with that other outfit where it was ugly before i accessorized this one was really ugly before i accessorized and then it got better so i love that for me it's not an eat it up it's more like a five or six out of ten but i can i can work with a five or six out of ten i'm done all right, you guys, so that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And it will let me know that you actually like content like this. And if you want to see more content like this from me, let me know in the comments down below. And if you want to see me try any outfits from Pinterest, put the link in the comments and I will make another video and I will try the outfits that you guys suggest. That would be really fun, actually. If you want to see more fashion content or just any more of my content in general, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to this channel. And turn on the bell notification so you never miss another one of my uploads if you want to follow my commentary channel or if you want to subscribe to my commentary channel you can do that as well and if you want to keep up with me outside of youtube you can follow me on all my social media i'll make sure to link everything on the screen or i'll make sure to put everything on the screen and link it in the description and yeah that is it thank you guys so 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 much for watching i really really appreciate it i hope you enjoyed the video i will see you next time don't forget to be the light bye